Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to complete the Pineapple of My Eye Baby Blanket that you can find as a free pattern on my website at www.nanascraftyhome.com. Uh, this is an interesting pattern. It is an easy repeat. Uh, it is modeled a little bit after my Spring Me Forward triangle scarf uh, with some variations, uh, but I wanted another opportunity to uh, use this pineapple cluster stitch that you can see here. Um, so this is a really um, interesting looking blanket uh, with those pineapple stitches and I have a double arched edging which gives it a frilly uh, appearance, but um, I still think that it is, um, certainly could be a unisex blanket if you made it in different colors. This original one that I designed is in um, the Neverland color. It's the Lion Brand Mandala Baby Line. line. Um, they, of course, have this specific uh, baby mandala yarn and today's tutorial I'm going to be using the same yarn in a different color and this is the dream world colorway very pink uh, very very girly so um, but this is a fun pattern uh, you guys are really gonna enjoy this one and of course it is a free pattern that you can find on my website if you are interested in the written instructions for it as well so to get started, put that aside, and we're going to be utilizing a size H hook or a 5.0 millimeter hook that I have here. And uh, again, I'm using the Lion Brand Mandala Baby. Um, this is a size DK or a weight three yarn, which certainly could be substituted. You could really use any size yarn that you would like. A worsted would be fine as well. Um, it's just going to change your dimensions a little bit. So to get started you're going to go ahead and um, do a chain four which is one, two, three, and four. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So in that last chain away from the hook you're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet again in the same space. Do a chain three, one, two, and three, and then three double crochets in that same chain space. And I'm going to repeat that uh, two more times. So chain three and then three double crochets in the same space. One, two, and three. And one more time, chain three and three double crochets in that same space. And after we've done that repetition, we're going to go ahead and um, do chain three and slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So I've essentially made a little square. All right, so for row two, we're going to go ahead and do a chain two and we're going to do a pineapple in the next stitch and that next stitch is going to be in that double crochet the middle one here um, go ahead and yarn over insert your hook into the stitch as directed yarn over pull up a loop I'm gonna pull up my loop a little bit yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook 
yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. That's four times. I should have nine loops on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're gonna yarn over and pull through the first eight. That will leave two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two, which closes that cluster. So after I've done that first pineapple, I'm gonna chain one, and I'm going to do two double crochets in that chain three space, a chain three, and two double crochets all in that same chain three space, which makes my corner space. Then chain one, I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to work a pineapple in the next stitch. So in that middle double crochet from that previous row, we're gonna do another pineapple. Yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do another chain one, skip the next stitch, and work that two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet in that same space, which will make that corner space again. Chain one, skip a stitch, pineapple in that middle stitch there, one, two, three, and four, yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one, again I've reached that corner space, two double crochet, chain three, two double crochets in the same space. Chain one, skip a stitch, pineapple in that middle stitch, so one, two, three, and four, yarn over, pull through eight, yarn over, pull through two. And if you're needing a little extra help with that pineapple stitch, I do have a tutorial specifically for the pineapple cluster stitch, uh, which will give you extra help with that if you are struggling. So chain one, and I'm in that corner space, so two double crochets, chain three and two double crochets. Then I'm going to want to chain one and slip stitch to the top of that pineapple stitch. I'm gonna bypass that chain two and actually work my slip stitch into the top of that pineapple stitch. So that way, um, when I go to do row three, I am in the right Place. So for row three, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch, and this is my repetition row, so this is the repeat from here on out. We're going to slip stitch into that chain one space, chain two, and we're going to do a pineapple in that same chain one space. So one, two, three, and four, my pineapple chain one. I'm going to skip the next stitch and a double crochet in each stitch until I get to my corner space. So for this row it's just the one stitch. Then in the corner I'm going to again work that two double crochet, chain three, and two double crochet in that corner. And then I'm going to double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch before the first chain one. So this is my chain one space. I'm going to do a double crochet in that next stitch. This is my last stitch before my chain one space. I'm going to skip that stitch, chain one, and I'm going to do a pineapple in that chain one space. So one, two, three, and four. 
chain one and I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to do a pineapple in that next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next one. Then I'm at the corner, go ahead and do two double crochets. Chain three, two double crochets. Work a double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the last double crochet, chain one, do a pineapple in that stitch in that space. Chain one, I'm gonna um, skip the next stitch and do a pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, work a double crochet in the next. I'm in my corner, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, work a double crochet in the next stitch. This is my last stitch before my chain one, so chain one skip the stitch, work a pineapple in that chain one space. Chain one, skip that stitch, work a pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, work a double crochet in that last, then I'm in the corner, two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets in that same chain three space. Double crochet in that next stitch. We're gonna go ahead and skip this last double crochet, chain one, work a pineapple in that next chain one space. and then go ahead and do a chain one and slip stitch to the top of the first pineapple stitch. Okay, so we're gonna be repeating that round from here on out. So slip stitch into that first chain one space and a chain two. Pineapple in that same chain one space. chain one. Skip the next stitch, work a double crochet in each stitch to the corner. So skipping that one in these next two. We're at the corner, two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets in that same chain three space. We're gonna go ahead and work a double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch till we get to the last double crochet. So we're going to do a double crochet in the first two. We want to skip the last double crochet by chaining one and doing a pineapple in the next chain one space. chain one. We're going to skip the next stitch, do a pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next stitch, pineapple in the next chain one space. 
chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in each stitch to the corner. So these next two double crochets, we're in the corner, two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets. Double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch two till we get to the last one. So in these next two, leaving that last double crochet, chain one, skip this stitch, pineapple in the chain one space. chain one and go ahead and do another pineapple in the next chain one space chain one another pineapple in the next chain one space chain one skip the next stitch work a double crochet in each stitch to the corner get to the corner, two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, double crochet in the next stitches to the last one. We skip that last one, chain one, pineapple into the next chain one space. chain one, pineapple in the next, chain one space, chain one, pineapple in the next, chain one space, chain one. Skip the next stitch, double crochet in each stitch to the corner, so these next two stitches, two double crochet, chain three, in the corner space and two double crochet the same corner space work a double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch to the last chain one skip over that last one work a pineapple in the chain one space chain one Pineapple in the next, chain one space. Chain one. We're at the end here, so we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the top of the first pineapple. Essentially what you're doing for each row is you start out with slip stitching into that first chain one space, chaining two, and then work a pineapple in that same space. You want to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into each stitch until you get to your corner space. In every corner space you're going to work two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet. When you come out of your corner you're going to work a double crochet in each stitch until you get to the last double crochet of the row and you're going to um, skip it by chaining one and working a pineapple in the next chain one space chain one work a pineapple in the next chain one space chain one work another pineapple in the next chain one space chain one work another pineapple in the next chain one space skipping your next stitch you will chain one and double crochet in each stitch till you get to the corner. So essentially that's what your rows are going to look like. As you like. go forward you are going to repeat row three until you get to the size desired for your blanket. So here I am row four, slip stitch into that first chain one space, chain two, pineapple in that first chain one space, chain one. Skip that first stitch, double crochet in each stitch till we get to the corner. 
when we get to the corner, we're going to do two double crochets, chain three, and two double crochets. We're going to double crochet in each stitch till the last stitch before our chain one. We're going to skip that stitch by chaining one and working a pineapple in that chain one space. Chain one, work a pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip my first stitch, double crochet in each stitch to the corner. Two double crochet, chain three, and two double crochet in that corner space. Double crochet in each stitch to the last. Chain one, skip that last stitch, work a pineapple in the chain one space. Chain one, pineapple in the next chain one. Chain one, pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one, pineapple in the next chain one space. Chain one. Skip my first stitch, work a double crochet in each stitch to the corner. Two double crochet, chain three, and two double crochet in that corner. And just repeat that around. So there you have it. I will continue working on my blanket and when I come back after I've reached the desired size I will show you how to complete the double arched edging that I have on my blanket as well. Alright so when you have reached the size uh, desired for your blanket or you've gotten to a point where you feel like you have enough yarn left over to do the edging um, but not enough to really do another round. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and start your edging. So you're going to finish off your last row and to get started with that edging and it's a, a very simple double edged arch. So we're, we're doing two rows and the first row is a smaller arch and then the second row is a little bit taller and it will enclose that first row. So uh, to get started, go ahead and slip stitch, or actually single crochet into that first chain one space, and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, and three and just slip stitch in there then go ahead and chain three one two and three we're going to skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, chain three, one, two, three, 
skip the next two stitches. One, two, so in the third one there. And go ahead and repeat that same pattern till we get to the corner. So one, two, three, four, and five. Slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Chain three. Skip two, single crochet in the next. Chain five, slip stitch into that third chain. Chain three, skip two, single crochet in the next. Chain five, slip stitch in the third chain. chain three, skip two, single crochet in the next, chain five, slip stitch in the third chain, chain three, skip two, chain five, slip stitch in the third, chain three, skip two, chain five, slip stitch in the third, chain three, skip two, chain five, slip stitch in the third, chain three, skip two, and then in the corner space, so we've gotten to the corner space, I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in that corner space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, slip stitch in the third, chain from the hook, chain three and single crochet in the same corner space. So once we have completed that corner space working that arched edge uh, into that chain three corner space, <clears throat> go ahead and continue by chaining five slip stitch into that third chain and chain three. Then you'll skip two stitches and single crochet in the next. Chain five and slip stitch. Chain three, skip two, and continue that same pattern till we get to the section with the pineapples. Okay, so we've reached the pineapple section and we're gonna go ahead and chain five, slip stitch, and in the pattern, chain three, it says to skip two stitches in between. But with these pineapples, of course, uh, the spacing is a little bit more than two regular double crochets. So really what I've done is, like for this one, uh, to skip the two stitches, we would have skipped this double crochet, this chain one, and then worked it into that pineapple. Now, um, you can certainly do that, um, and this is what it would look like. Um, which is fine. However, 
I felt for mine, I really wanted to work more into the chain one space itself in that section. So you may have to adjust depending on where yours is falling. Um, it, you know, depending on how many rows you've done, you're going to have more or less stitches before you get to that pineapple section of each row. And so what I would probably do for this is it's not really skipping two stitches, but I would just uh, go ahead and single crochet in that first chain one space. As you it can see here, there's not a large difference in appearance between these two arches, even though the spacing isn't quite exactly the same. And then what I do during uh, the pineapple section is I would skip two pineapples and work in that next chain one space. So go ahead and do your next chain five, your slip stitch, chain three, skip the two pineapple stitches and work a single crochet in that chain one space and then just continue that on down uh, through the pineapple section, skipping those two pineapples and working a single crochet in the next. And so you can see here, um, you know, there is not a huge amount of difference between the way uh, these arches look and the ones down here through the double crochets. It's similar uh, enough that you can't really tell a difference. And like I said, for me, I prefer working in that chain one space, but certainly if you would rather work into the top of the pineapple, that is fine as well. So just continue that on around, uh, working uh, those evenly throughout the round and uh, working one in each of the corner spaces as you go around. So just continue that and I will be back here shortly to show you how to work uh, the second row of edging. Okay, so for our last final row of edging, our second row, uh, when we get to the end of our row, you will go ahead and uh, do your chain five, slip stitch, chain three, and then you will do a slip stitch to that first single crochet. So for that row two, go ahead and chain one, single crochet in that same space, and then go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, slip stitch into the third chain, chain four, one, two, three, four, skip over the arch from the previous row and single crochet into the next single crochet. So essentially what we're doing in this row is we're making another row of, of arched edge that second row is just tall enough to enclose that first row. So you will do that the entire row. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Slip stitch into the third chain. Chain four, one, two, three, and four skip over that previous arch from the last row and single crochet into the next single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Slip stitch into the third chain, chain four, skip over that last one, single crochet into the next single crochet. So let's take a look and see what that looks like here. So you can see that it is really just enclosing that previous arch, the arch from that previous row, and that is just going to be repeated throughout the entire row. Every time you have an arch, you will work another arch around it. So in your corners, you will work another arch. 
starting in that single crochet, arch over, and single crochet into the next single crochet in that same space. So there will be another arch over top of that one. So just essentially repeat that all the way around until you get back to the beginning of your row and slip stitch to that first stitch. All right, so I have completed my final row of edging and look how frilly and pretty that ends up being on the edge of that blanket. Uh, just gives it that finishing touch and really very simple um, and not um, time consuming either, which is another nice thing. Uh, but so we have our completed pineapple of my eye. Uh, this is a free crochet pattern, again, that you can find on my website at nanascraftyhome.com. Be sure to vis visit me there uh, if you have any questions about any of my patterns. Feel free to drop a line to me either by email or on my Facebook page. I am happy to help in any way that I can. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're interested in getting notified whenever I release a new video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I will see you soon. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.